Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Where we're currently looking at the brand new line that is importing coal to our steel mill. Um, the last, well last episode guys, we did some huge expansions and some changes to some of the railways. And we've all of a sudden just started making even more money than ever before, which is kind of crazy. This line does really well getting the coal, but what does the best is this juicy, juicy iron line right now. And that makes a ton of money. I think that's become, at the moment, if I just quickly search by balance, um, look at this. It's now currently our fourth one. Sometimes it goes up into third and even second, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we also set up the kind of loop for the oil too and it's it's going pretty well so guys what are we doing today well it's all about passenger airplanes and before i get on to exactly what we're going to be doing i just want to say guys if you've been enjoying this series so far then please make sure you smash that like button down below and if you are new in here make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode so what i want to do today is work with passenger airplanes now i did mention last episode that i kind of wanted to get an airport in and put it like here but a lot of you guys were kind of like against that. And that's because one, it destroys a part of the city. And two, it makes no sense because it's too close to the city. It will cause pollution and everyone will hate it. And also, I got to think of logistics of like trying to get people to and from areas. And then it kind of hit me. I have an airport over here. I have an airport over there, which is both ends of the, of the train line. So if I put another airport kind of close up here at Topsom, and then basically what we do is we make a train, say, say for example here, we make a train go from Beerley to here to drop off passengers to the airport. One, that makes money transferring passengers to and from before they fly away, but it will also make them for all the little towns around them jump on another train to get to that train that passes them over. So, and then if I do it from the furthest points, that means the furthest points of each line becomes closer. Well, kind of feels a lot closer because of the airport, if that makes sense. Uh, same for this one over here. I do like a passionate line, only a small one with like one carriage, and we'll just kind of expand it as time goes on. So, I've got to kind of upgrade the airports. And then we're going to need one over here for Topsom. So, we have a free space, and I can use the existing passenger train that kind of comes in. And then push it. I think I might like build it over here somewhere. So it's a little bit out of the way from the city. It has a really good transport connection to get people to and from the area. So it should be pretty good. So like I said, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, smash that like button down below. And if you're out new around here, please make sure you do subscribe. So again, the main benefit for that having them so far away is people have got to travel to the airport, thus making money, before they jump on a plane, say flow over to here, making money. Then from there, they have to get a train to the nearest town to then get on a train to go to somewhere else so i'm constantly making money with them which will be pretty pretty cool now what seems to be going on over here do you have an issue what's going on are they trying to drop the goods off oh yeah they're trying one's trying to turn around the other one's trying to pull in gotcha boy gotcha so what, what is he doing that's a blue one. Oh, he's waiting to load right now what's going on over here then I think it's just a slow little loading process right now. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So, we got to take a look at this then. So, I think I'm going to start with Billy here. We, we've first got to get the passengers over here. So, we kind of need to configure it to accept. Now, if I build a second runway, one is going to cause a collision. Is that the largest airport that I've got? Or I could potentially use? So, if I went for a, a large one... Is that a large? Um, is that is that it? It is a no, no, that is it. Okay, that is the largest one I've got. We just got to configure it to add in extra terminal. So I think I'll stick an extra runway on because it's going to be in demand. Meaning I need to slightly do some terraforming. So more vehicles in bad condition. We know this. We know this, boys. But it is what it is. <laughs> right, let's kind of get this pushing over. I'm not sure how far we would have to stick it out. But we'll play around with it. So I'm going to go out quite far there. Bring this down. There we go. Up to here. 
And I think that might be okay for an additional runway. So configure this then, miscellaneous. Runway, boom, right there. Taxiway, uh, builds a second taxiway to the airport which allows to add more buildings. Uh, this will be on for this side. Now, do I want to do that or do I keep it as it is? I think we'll keep it as it is. How is it like for... Yeah, they can drive across anyway, so that's kind of fine. Right, sweet, sweet, sweet. We're just going to add in the passenger building. So main building, which we've already got a main building. Passenger cargo hangar. So we're after the passenger one. Yeah. That's what we're after. So if I drop that there. I mean, I could put it on that side, but it's really pushing it out of the way. Now, we'll just go with that there. So there's a passenger one there, and that's then been upgraded to how I need it to be. Which is connected up to there. We know it's connected up to there because stuff goes over there, if that makes sense. <laughs> right, guys? Makes sense. Right, guys? <laughs> uh, okay, so let's do the other airport now. So we've done that one. Let's do this one. Now, this one should be pretty straightforward. So configure miscellaneous, add in a second runway. It costs five million for a second runway. Right, do we do the oh we got oh I forgot to do the approach lights. Actually actually, do I want them on that side? Oh no, I don't want to delete it. Um Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, right, configure passenger terminal, drop that down. I'm sure, uh, I'm about to say, I'm sure I just placed it down then for a second. So when you select it on that, it's all connected up to here. We're just going to get a little train station that will come in. So it'll only be a small little commuter train that we'll throw in. Uh, did I add the approach lights on this one? No, I didn't. There we go, just add them there. Nice. Okay, right, sweet, sweet, sweet. So I don't want on this new one a commercial... No, a cargo setup. So we can keep it to a simple passenger one. That's cargo. Passenger airport here. And if I pull it like there, it's in a reasonable space, which is handy. And I might configure this first to put a station there, and that will work quite well if we can attach the station to the airport. So let me just pause for a second, guys. Let's just delete a nice little chunk here because I can integrate a station, which will be beautiful. You knew you knew where where that was going. Okay, so buildings, cargo, passenger. That's the one I want. I do a large one. I do a two platform one, just for the sake of it because I can because I'm just showing off right now. Um, right, let's get that little bit more span round and we'll put okay we'll put it there tracks high speed so we'll make the current one that will be the one that goes on the inside here so i'll put it back into play mode now we're all good we're all good and then which is the one that brings the passenger train in it's this one here this purple one which is then the middle one there. Okay, okay, okay. So I've now got to push this kind of out. So there, it's going to remove a few buildings, but I've, I've got to do it, unfortunately. And I can make it continue up to here. And then what do you reckon? We make it, we bridge it up and make it go over. Right, if I can, if it will allow me to. What's going on, boy? What's going on? At what point do I get to turn it into a bridge, guys? I kind of want to know. Or I don't have to, because I can always set it up to 
Nice. So I don't really want to mess around with my other line. I want it to kind of free flow. So if I just push that out, push that up. Right, I'm about to say how far until I can get the bridge. Or, yeah. Right, we go there. Right, I'm going to push that to there just, just a second. And then we're up and over. Doesn't interact or change anything. Beautiful. Everything flows underneath. Glorious! And that'll be the passenger line there, which is simple, easy, spectacular. And then we just got to get this over here. Now, we might have to drop a rodent just for the sake of it. So if I just go straight, I mean, I could do it like this, where it just connects over. Just for the sake of having it connected, that's fine. And then if I place that there, which then is technically connected to that, we are good to go. So if I set up a loop, so if I went here, to passenger there, to the passenger one there, then we're ready to rock and roll. That's all we've got to do. But it won't work just yet because we need to bring the passengers to the airports. So we got to go back to basics again. So we know this works as it does. So all I gotta do here is configure this to add in another railway with a platform for our passengers. Or oh, I'm missing some tracks there. That's not really gonna help us out, is it? There we go. So then all I need to do is back of the railway and oh the same thing's gonna happen over here we're gonna have to put an extra track down aren't we yeah right configure oh I can do it on this side that helps well that's gonna delete that house I don't know how much I'm expecting for people to come from here so we'll play we'll, we'll just see how that goes with that little bit there it's only, it's only a small connection. So with how short it is, you don't really need a big platform for it, really, do you? All right. And it will work something like that. Simple, easy. You don't want to confuse it or complicate things too much. That's it, boys. That's exactly what we need it to do. Right, okay. So with that said, that one's now done. So let me create a quick route here. So passenger there to there. It's the shortest route in history. So we'll call this the the B Airport. No, we can go. We call it Airport Link Beerly. B for Beerly, okay? <laughs> right. It's easy enough to understand. And buildings, we just got to get connected to it. And I'll do it like this there, like that there. Tracks. In you go. And we just want a simple train. Nothing too crazy. Uh, just something really cheap. That's the cheapest one there. And we'll do one passenger car um, carriage for now. And then we'll see how that goes over time. Airport link B. So nothing's really going to happen now because I don't have any planes flying around. So we'll leave the planes to the very last moment. So let's now do the same over here then. Which all I really need to do for this is find that purple line. Um, I forgot what it's called. Is it train? It was this one, isn't it? Yeah. So it goes... Uh, market drain exchange to upper top some. Back to market drain into rugby. So if I cancel, cancel, it goes market drain, exchange, upper top sum. Then we'll make it go to the airport. Then back to upper top sum. Back to market drain. Then to rugby. Simple. 
back to rugby, and then it will start all over again. But it has the issue. Topsom Brunt here. Okay, it's got the wrong one there. So let me delete all this again. So it goes up to Topsom East. There we go. I think I got the Sun South Street. There, market trading exchange. Rugby. Okay, there we go. That is now all done. That will flow wonderfully. So I've integrated that train station up here so that can flow through. Ain't got to do nothing extra to that, which is quite cool. It's just now got to do something a little bit to this one. So if I connect this road all the way up, so if I bring that out and pull that straight across, the main point is that I want to get from this is hopefully buildings passenger or do I do an end line I think I might do an end line and I'm going to reduce this by 160 now that is close enough to be connected to the airport which is good and we've just got to do a simple in and out that's all it is a simple in and out so we already have a passenger line coming in that comes all the way from rugby so I don't know whether to integrate that into the train state uh, into the airport line or have a separate one how much will it destroy if I place down? All right, can't do one there, but I can do a small one there, so like a single platform, which would work out pretty well because, again, you're not really expecting to have too much traffic on that. So if I bring that up and then push that around there, I've got two lanes now. I don't know why I've chose to have two lanes on it. All right, to there. There we go, nice and simple. And then we'll do a new line, so from there to there, easy peasy. And we'll call this one the Air Port Link, and this is for Halesworth, so we'll call this one the H. Nice. So, buildings. I'll return that round and just drop it here. Tracks. So this is going to be the same type of train that we've done in the other airport link. So buy vehicles, buy that, buy that, simple, easy, H. There we go. So that's now all done. All three airports now connected up to a railway line. It's now just down to us then to get the planes on the go. So I'll start over here, buy a vehicle, passenger. And should I go big boy to begin with? Like the most passengers. That's got 50, 37, 55 is the, this one here. 33. So 55 is that one. It does a top speed of 850. Loading speed of 1. Loading speed times 10. Okay, actually, we're going to go for the Boeing 757. I'll do one plane to begin with. And that goes on line 1, which I haven't given a name yet. So line 1. Plane, loop, one, in case I add in secondary ones. But there we go. We'll see how that rock and rolls, and then we should start to see the, 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 the well, the, the train stations, or these new train lines, taking passengers to and from. So it will take some time, but I'm quite interested to see how, how it works and how it affects the surrounding areas, and if we make any more money. So, we've just done loads of investments right now, which is crazy. Here's our income chart. You can see how it's gradually going up and up and up. Can you believe, like, we had so many expenses in this one round? What did I build in that year? That would have equated to so much expenditure. I'm not even sure, boys. I'm not even sure. Right, is this picking anyone up yet? No, not yet. So it's going to take some time anyway, but it's really cool. Because, like, you picture it this way. People from St. Ives can get on a hovercraft over to there, get the train to the airport, and fly all the way to Halesworth, get off, get on a train into Halesworth, and then get on a boat to Longridge. 
That's how connected these places are. I mean, there's a couple of connections you're going to make. But it works. It definitely works. So it's just, now we just play the waiting game. Okay, we've got our first person waiting for the airport link B here. Oh, there's two people getting on board. So I want to see how little money we make for two people in such a short distance. This is going to be hilarious. You ready? 7,000. Okay, it's not that bad. And then they just walk down. That's how easy the connection is. Hmm. Oh, okay, so we know that one's up and running. How's this one doing? There's no one waiting just yet, but I'm not sure where that train is. Is this the train here? Alright. Let's get in some people on board in just a moment. So that's this is the one that's going to take the longest time. So I wonder if it drops anybody off. If it has anybody on board for um for the airport. I don't know. But here it is. Here it is. I'm going to say no, there's no one on board for it. Oh, 92,000? Oh, uh, did a couple of people just get off? Yeah, there's a couple of people just walk in there. So yeah, it does show you that it does work. There we go. Oh, there's quite a few. They're all coming out right now. We're going to have a couple waiting for the plane, aren't we? Yeah, there's quite a few, man. Holy moly. So we know that one's working. And, yeah, there's, there's already got the icon there for someone waiting. So we've got someone waiting there already. So I want to wait for that plane loop here. Yeah, we got three people waiting over here. So it'll be interesting to see then, as time goes on, how much money you start to make from passenger lines. And then, again, as time goes on, we'll have to add more and more planes. But we've now officially got our first passenger line up and running. So where is that plane? There's a plane there. Aircraft free. I'm trying to select it. That, no, that's not the passenger plane. Nope, not the passenger plane. I'm trying... Is that it? Nope. I'm trying to figure out where it is. Is that it? No. Where, where is it? It's not over there. It's not you. It's not you. So it has to be this one coming in. There we go. There we go. So this is making huge losses. Of course it is. But over time, when we get more and more, we've got to get people to the airport first. That's what, what we've got to do. So with them seven people, we make half a million. Now it's got 15 on board. Ooh. So this is the first time it started to make some money. Now is its... Well, I say that's its second little bit of income coming in. So that's good then. So that will slowly start to make money for us. I'm really happy about that. I really am. Oh, it's going to be so good. So good. Right, we're going to sort some of these issues out right now with this farm and whatnot. Um, is this deprived of food? Yes. Or well, grains or whatever you want to call it. So how can we get more over there? So that's the green line. And that is for our... Is it called the wheat one? It's not that one. That's it there. So how many vehicles do we have on that? I bet you all the other areas have got like... Do you know what? I think we've got quite a few vehicles on that. Let me find it. Grain. We have 29 vehicles. Okay, we don't need that many. That's a little bit excessive. Right, if I sell 15, we then have 14 vehicles. That's very excessive, isn't it? That really is. So, 
That line, where is it actually going? So it goes to there, to there, and it picks up some from there. I could potentially get some, get them to pick something up from here as well. Couldn't I? As another alternative for the route. Why? Why don't we? Or would I potentially use that for something else? Yeah, because I've got that one close by as well. So I'm just trying to make it where they use different lines and stuff like that. As a way to, if the driver to that one, then the other three have got chance to replenish before the um, the truck gets there. So... Alright, I'll have to place it here instead. It gives me plenty of time to add stuff to it. There, and then drop it back off there. So at Atworth West, we're getting a full load of the grains there. And it allows me then to know what side they're working with. So I can get the huge cargo placed in. And by the time a truck gets over here, there should be plenty for it ready to go. Get a full load and get that wheat over to the factory. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Sweet me. Right, okay, so lines then. Oh, wrong button. That's not the one I want to look at. This one. Ooze is now losing us money. So that plane one's going to be losing for quite some time. The airport links are 100% they're losing money for us because they need to get bulk, big bulks of people over to where we want them to be. Uh, the plane is, it was losing 4 million the last time I looked. Now it's losing 2 million. So slow improvements. Slow improvements. Right, how far are these from making money? Wow, they don't really ever make money, do they? So that begs the question. Right. Do I switch it from a train to a bus? Because you don't really have the demand. Although it is going to bring a bulk of people back right now. Once they get over here. Or do I just leave it and give it time. Until there's a huge demand. And supply for moving passengers everywhere. Uh, it could be another way in which I can kind of wait it out. So that's now going to pick up 14 people. And drop them off over here. And how, is it, how much does it make then? 54,000. So how much does it lose? 1. Okay, okay that's, that's a lot. So it also could be that I just need more aircraft. But it's one of the things. That it's just it's going to take some time. Mate. It's going to take some time. So we'll, we'll just let it do what it's got to do naturally. Before we improve. Right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we've got our first set of vehicles just now approaching over here. Which will space out the other areas and give them time to restock. So I see how there's no one waiting here right now. And that's now replenishing beautifully. Uh, we've got a couple waiting over just here. But once they're gone, there'll be a long wait before the next vehicles make their move over there. So it's all good. We're going in the right direction, boys. We're going in the right direction. Now, that town there is isolated. So is Drewsbury over here. And so is Stockton on Tees. Uh, Elminster is isolated. No, it's not. It can go straight to Topsham. But then Clown, whatever it's called there, is isolated. Okay. So I don't want to do any boat routes between anything else here because there's no point in doing a boat route to like to, to well, we've got the boat route there anyway and then go to leak. There's no point because they can just hop on the train and we can get more money that way. Oh, it's got no one on board. So if I manage the vehicle, is there a cheaper train which I can replace this with? So those are so expensive. Any electric stuff cheaper? No. 
the diesel is the cheapest one a year to run so passenger I have the cheapest carriage to run as well so, so we don't really have huge demands to try and move them but again see how it goes uh, is the plane making money? It's now down to 1.5 losing. So we, we're kind of getting there, which is good. That's really good. Um, right, 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 right. Now, do you think I should set up a bus route to get people from Ilminster up here to the airport? That might be a nice little setup, wouldn't it? I think that could turn into something quite nice. So... Buses, buildings. The residential strip is just there. So if I just kind of go to hell with it and just kind of drop that, that there for the sake of it. And, oh, wrong button. And then do an unload stop at the airport. just here and then set up a new line connection from there make sure I get that one to there because either going to go to the airport or they're going to go on the train train line so either one is going to work so this is our Ilminster line so Il uh, Ilminster we'll just call it the yeah, we'll just call it the Ilminster line easy enough and we'll do one bus for now so passenger oh they'll go with this little this one i don't know how much demand we're gonna have now we'll go for the 17 one here and the 17 capacity one because it's half the price a year to run so ailments the line what's the issue there Um, what is that road is there an issue with the road that, that's fine can you not drive down here to get in what seems to be the issue I don't quite get it. Do I have to make it like a, a little roundabout area? I'm so confused. Can the bus not get over there? Why put that to there? Can we drive that way? Does he not like the dirt roads? Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's a one-way road, isn't it? Is it? We're in a small street. I know I'm upgrading the wrong type of road, but I don't get what's going on. Oh, I just realized it can't be used by passengers. Oh, I just, okay, I just, okay, my bad. My bad, guys. I just realized I'm such a dum dum. Right. Put that there. There we go. There's a walking connection for all of them. So. There we go. Oh, don't even lie now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You don't need to tell me. You don't need to tell me. Right. Delete that module. Passenger. That's what we need.
that's what we needed in the first place. So let's make sure that when it gets to here. Well, why is this upper top someone not working? There we go. So it works on that side. Right, I, I just, guys, I figured it out. Don't worry. I'm having a moment. Just, just allow me to have this moment. Please call me a fool later. Right, back to the line. So, kill off that. There we go. Well, that was painful, wasn't it? That was freaking painful. So, there's 12 peeps there. Who's dropping off here? 400,000, nice. So, click on the plane. Finances. Oh, they've gone down slightly, but I'm hoping as we connect more and more things up to the aircraft, we'll be able to get more people on board. So that drops some more peeps off. Which will be really, really handy. Quite excited about it, to be honest. Um, right. Right, 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 right. That is actually connected to the train station, believe it or not. And how little money does this make us? I'm going to have to switch those train lines that I've added in to a bus line because they make no money. No money at all. And it's probably a bad idea on my part to kind of throw that in. But you live and you learn, boys. You live and you learn. But it's just now about creating that demand anyway. Um, how many people are waiting over here already? Oh, okay, there's quite a few. Your boy might have to get a secondary, um, whatchamacallit, bus on this line. Illmans has now been woken up. That will cause the city to grow rapidly. Which was nice. Uh, yeah, so we have an, the, 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 the cone. I don't know you say that one. Cone? I don't know. Um, we have this town. we got to hook up. So, I could just do a, a bus line. Has that grown at all? It's flatlined. Like many of the other things. So by connecting that up generally, that just creates a simple connection. If I go with a medium street and we've got to get it. Pushing through. And then the nearest road is over here. So it doesn't really mean anything to anybody else. But if we start to see vehicles now driving out of here, it's because they're now, they're now connected to Ilminster. So now, yeah, you start to see a couple of vehicles now coming out, which will really open up this town and make it slightly grow. Which is good. You can see all the cars now skedaddling and wanting to get out of here. So that creates more connections. We've added in a 10% boost. So the charge, we should see a little bit of a growth come from this. I'm hoping that they'll go to Ilminster and catch the bus. Which will be good for us. Uh, how many people are waiting? We could do with a secondary bus. Bringing people over. That's got 19 on board. So I wonder how much money that's going to make. Uh, oh my god, so many people just got off this one. <laughs> and they're going to be like switching between the two. Like the airport and the passenger line here. Oh my goodness me, there's going to be actually quite a few waiting, isn't there? There's going to be quite a few waiting at both. So the airport so far. Wait for them to come in. So let me just check this then. So there's already 15 people waiting. 16, 17, which is pretty good. Okay, now the people are getting to the airport. They're walking in. There's five already at the train station. Seven now. 17 there. There's eight over here. Here comes the bus. 
which is a full bus. And how much money does this make? Cha-ching, 84,000. So that itself, the first time it's made money, killed the game. It's made a lot. And that goes back with a full bus as well. The right amount is well, 17, which is kind of crazy. 14 people waiting there. Now I got eight over there, so that's got more people to pick up. So do you reckon I should get a secondary bus in? Yeah, because oh my goodness me, there's lots of people waiting there. All right, let's buy a secondary bus. Seven versus twenty-six. Is it worth it going for the double? Right, I'm, we'll, we'll do it and just see what happens. So, Illminster, where are you? There we go. And we're still seeing lots of cars driving out. There goes one. Here comes another. There goes another. So is this town growing now? Charts? Yeah, it flatlined. Now the uh, jobs and shopping facilities are now gone up as well. <laughs> we knew that was going to happen. We knew that was going to happen. Right, how many people are in over here? 44. I've got one... Oh my, the wasd has gone all over the place. I've got one boat on this route, don't I? It can handle 20. Should we get a secondary boat on the go? Secondary hovercraft? I'm wondering like at what stage I make it go and go on the loop. So that goes on the this one here. So that's dropped some people off. That's now on the run, on the go. So I'll wait for that to move up a bit. Once that disappears off our screen, you can kind of see it on the right hand side, which is now gone. Actually, let me uh, spin around a bit. Or should we wait till it gets over to there or close to it? I think so. So if I can get on like both sides, then that's perfect. Um. Right, okay, so you've also got to give it time to get over to there. So if, as soon as I see it appear to the side, we're going to set the line. So you ready for this, boys? It's appearing. Any minute now. Any, oh, there we go. Boom. Sweet. Another hovercraft on that line. So that comes out. How many people's got to pick up them? It's got 23, so that'll have a full load straight away. That's got two on board. Oh, them trains were the worst idea ever, weren't they? They honestly were. Has the um, is the airplane line making money yet? It's down to one point three, so it's definitely coming down. Finances. Oh, the revenue is going back up again. So that's good. That's slowly turning around. But yeah, we're gonna get more people over there. Now, why don't I set up a bus line from Woking? So over here as well. That makes more sense as well to get that going. So I come out of there and go straight there like that. I should really upgrade this road. So they travel a bit faster. There we go. And make sure I do this right, because <laughs> I went so terribly wrong last time. Passenger, there we go. So, residents, I throw this one here. And then we just set up a new route from there to there. We'll call this our Woking um, line. Easy enough. And I'll get a double decker on this one. Where's Woking line? And we we'll just kind of see how that goes. So that opens the air, this airport up more importantly for other connections and other loops. Stuff like that. There's only five people on board of this one. 
So I feel like we've worked on this airport more than any other airports. And as I can see a lot of people now walking in. So unfortunately, they're going to miss this plane. But that's okay. They'll be waiting for the next one. We've got a lot of people waiting over here already. And where's that line? So that one goes onto that side. So you can see between the two different sides then how many people are waiting. So again, opens up Wokenham right now. Two more places. So we've increased it by 80%. The city, well, you know, the growth anyway. And the connections has gone up. Which is pretty sweet. All right, I can figure this. Passengers. There we go. Just get like, you know, a couple of extra passengers waiting at a time. Now it's got a simple line back and forth, which is handy. Uh, Illminster over here. Still got tons of people waiting. But that's good though, because it's there. It's there waiting for us. And how has that growth now changed? Oh, it's skyrocketed now. We've uh, opened that place up. That's good. Very impressed about that. Has the growth still been going on over here? Yeah, you're not going to see as much growth as like, you know, Illminster, for example, because... We should really have a connection, shouldn't we? I don't know why we don't. Right, let's do one here too. So, I'll throw this smack bang in the middle. I'm going to go from there. And where is it? Oh, it's over here. I'm going to edit this and change it. So if I just kind of drop that to there. But we can figure this. I delete that side and get the passenger one on this side. So I can have that other line over here instead. There we go. Add all that in. So that new line I just created. The Ilminster branch here. Let me delete that. There we go. It's on the other side instead. So the closest I've got for a vehicle depot is just over here. So if I buy a vehicle, buy this. Pull it on that line one. Let me just rename it real quick. So this is going to be our... Uh... Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, we'll say it, yeah. That line. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce that word. Cane? Corn? I don't know. Corn? Maybe. Who even knows? So that line's up and running. So that opens now this up for even more connections. So, yeah, they've now gone from 10% uh, growth to now 20% growth in both as well. Destinations as well. So that's going to rapidly grow that little town. As we're already getting people waiting. People now on their way to go catch a bus. I'm going to configure this then so we can get more passengers waiting. And then we'll see how that goes. Right, how they're liking it over here? Is that plane just landed? Yeah, there's 22 people waiting. With more people just walking in, as you can see. So how many this plane got on board? It's got nine this time. It had five last time. So it makes a little bit more money. And how many has got on board now? 24. Finances? Yeah. <laughs> We're still working on it, guys. We're still working on it. We've already got six people waiting so far. And you can just see them all walking in slowly. Now up to eight. So this is becoming a nice little transfer hub. I'm liking this. I'm liking this little area. All right, where's that bus? That bus is now coming in. we got 30 people waiting. How many's on board? Four. So has this been making money? Oh, yeah, that's been making money. That's been making some serious money, boys. Liking it. Okay, then, so we're getting on two towns then, which is all good. Drewsbury is another one, but I could make Drewsbury get connected to Ilminster, and they go back and forth on that one, but I'm making so many people right now be connected to this loop. So that would be another way to kind of work on this, as opposed to working on the other areas for now. But we don't have anything for Epworth, so I could get Epworth connected somewhere. I mean, there's a drive there, but I could get the Epworth connected and dropping off over here as a way of getting more passengers on the airport. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, it's going well. 
I think this is going to take a really, really long time before we start turning profit. We're just going to have to keep fine-tuning it over and over and over again. So the, the, that line there hasn't made any money yet. But that's just, I suppose it's only really... It hasn't even got there to make money yet. Uh, there's 49 people already waiting, so they're good to go. I can get Stockton on T's as well. Connected up with a boat route to there. Or I could do a little trio connection, couldn't I? I don't know. I could do something to Drewsbury and then Drewsbury like to Elminster as a nice connection. But I'll see how that goes. How is this doing? It's got nobody on board. But it's going to pick a fill, uh, full load of people up. And up it goes back again. How many people are now waiting? 19 people are now waiting. And more people are still walking on their way. Wow, there's a lot of people transferring here between the bus stops. So, do you reckon, right, because I don't have that many on the plane line, do you reckon I should change the plane? Because I have gone for quite a big plane, haven't I? So, here's the plane anyway. How many's on board this time? 17. So, here's the finances. Oh, it made it. Almost broke turn of profit on that previous year. Okay, I won't speak too soon. I'll see how it goes, but just made not nearly a million. Just picked up 30 people, and now it's about to skedaddle and get out of here again. So don't speak too soon, Seniac, boy. This could turn a profit this year. I could be slowly getting there. <laughs> just took a while, but we'll see how it goes. So there's some peeps out waiting over there right now. So I think I'm going to get rid of these. I think we'll do it next episode. We'll get rid of these little back and forth trains and turn them into bus routes. Because from the other airport we've been working on, clearly, clearly shows you that that's the superior way to do it. And then we can, uh, some weird road layouts happening over here. Right, but here comes that plane landing right now. So let's check out the finances. And here it comes in. Made 2.2 million. Look at that. It turned... Well, it's turning a profit at the moment. It's just picked up 24 people. So we get in there. We're now turning it around, boys. So that year is over. And for the first year ever, we made a profit. So I told you, it's going to take a while to get that plane to make some money. But we, we get in there. And we can improve it as well because... This is not great. These. It's not great. I can get a better system coming from the city to the airport. And we can hook up more little towns to the airport as well to make it more efficient. We've always got Watford. I might do like a little line from Watford to Epworth to Middleham and then get it to go to the airport or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I could actually get Watford and Epworth hooked up to Middleham so they're on the boat lines, which goes to Halesworth. And all that kind of stuff. So I might do that instead. That might be a better way. We've got Southwick over here on its own. Can you create your own town on this? I feel like that would be a good idea. I feel like it would. Hmm. Um, right, where is... Is that... The, oh, there's the bus there. How many people has it got on board? Seven. So not that many people coming back. Everybody wants to escape this town. But how much money does it make? And finances, yeah, it's now turning a profit, which is really good. That goes back with a full load. So, how are them statistics in them charts? They're, they're skyrocketing. I bet Ilminster's, like, going crazy. Yeah, because it's now connected up to two towns. Uh, Wokingham, that recently started the growth, which is, again, skyrocketing, because it's now connected up to the outside world, which is glorious, thus making us all money all around. All right, coming in this time... It's got 15. And 39 people waiting this time round. The plane coming in. Well, that's a good sign, isn't it? That's a real good sign. So, dropping off here. Nearly a million. And then goes back this time with almost a full plane. This is going to be a record-breaking year for this plane right now. It really is. There's a lot of people over here for the bus routes as well. So, we're going to have to add more people to them. Um, any towns down here? There's no towns. 
So it might be a cool idea to get St. Ives in the triangle from Beerley to Wokingham. Because that bridges the connection from the end of that route to the end of this route. Which would be quite handy. I just want to see what it makes now. Yeah, the airplane. Because this is the mo most amount of people I've seen it have on the plane. Which is a good sign. It's a real good sign. So let me check the finances again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 2.6 million. Whoa! Okay, record breaking profits. And there's 20 people now on board. Record breaking profits, boys. I'm happy. And all those people now are going to make their way to the train. So get this train ready. I want to select it. And just out of interest, I want to see how many people it picks up. So here it comes. It's got the full 33 on board. And how much does that make on a full load? So you can't get full loads all the time because the plane doesn't land often enough. 129,000, which is barely a smidge in the water to get the 1.4 million needed. So now we know the plane line is making money. It's just those two train loops that don't do it, or the links to the airport that don't do it. Uh, which we'll fix that next episode by getting rid of them, replacing them with bus lines. That will make money because it's cheaper and we can have a better scope of where we're picking up people from. Um, our plane loop here, doing really, really well. I'm actually quite impressed, to be honest. And then we've got all these smaller little loops with the single buses on. That will just gradually add more buses to as time goes on. I really, really am impressed, guys. I really am. But I think we are going to end it for here today. Hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good luck. <laughs>